All right, <clears throat> today a uh, video on uh, swapping the cluster. <clears throat> We're in a 2.7 liter 1997 Toyota T100. This is the original gauge cluster with your temp and your speedo and your fuel. Upgrading to the SR5 cluster, you get oil pressure instead of just a dummy oil light that comes on somewhere here. You get a tack, which is really nice, and you get volts, which is nice. So, how to put this puppy in. Uh, first couple wiring doodad deals you gotta know about. <clears throat> um, so what I did, uh, the previous owner, the guy who sold me this SR5 cluster, was nice enough to include um, the clips that go into the back. Clips that go into both these clusters are the same. Um, by giving me the clips, I was able to salvage like one of these wires and just and pull it out with its metal guy and add it to my stock harness, which is really nice. So that's, that's what I've done here. So the tackle wire you gotta add is right here. We're in the back of the connector now, keep in mind. Mark. Back of the connector right there. And again, there's this there's that the stock, nice stock piece right here, this metal guy. Um, the other one I added here was the four-wheel drive light, which is the red guy all the way over there. Um, that and uh, <clears throat> that lets uh, the four-wheel drive light here light up. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. But the cruise control light also I did something similar. <clears throat> so that's on the far left plug. You add the wire for the tack. Um, the two middle plugs remain unmodified. The far right plug, you gotta add the wire for the. Uh, the you gotta add that. You gotta ground the volts gauge. So pretty sure that was uh, this guy here which is this black and white wire which is the third over third over yep one two three from the bottom there from the far right um, and I just put that to ground All right there it is and uh, the other wire here that I have run is the cruise control wire which goes uh, 20s pretty sure it's this brown one here but either way, you can figure it out on the figure it out on the back of the cluster, <clears throat> and that just lets the cruise control light light up. Um, those are both the four-wheel drive and the cruise control are if I want to add a light later for an aftermarket accessory or something. If you don't have the nice wires that you can put in to add to your stock harness and make this all plug 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 easy, you can do it manually. It sucks, but here it goes. Um, you can run your tack wire straight to the back of the cluster right here on this bolt. We're upside down on the cluster. Keep in mind. Um, Oh, and you can add your volt ground to here just so you ground this out to the body and then this goes here to your tack wire signal which I'll show you in just a minute <clears throat> um, word to the wise and removing the speedo cable it really really sucks to get this thing because you're working at it you can't get behind the gauge and so you're working at it from like behind this metal bullshit it's, it's, it's horrible um, <clears throat> post up if you know a trick on that but there are two types of speedo cable releases so be aware don't get fucked um, the one on your 2.7 liter um, is going to be the smaller inlet type or the smaller type to get this off. You've got to pu push, you know, up or whatever in, in towards the cable, which releases this little clippy clippy guy, right? Let me get a mark card. Yep, releases the clippy clip guy that, that snacks in there he is. That's by pushing down. However, the SR5 cluster from your donor vehicle has a different type. You guys get a flat blade screwdriver, and if we're calling this the back of the connector, then we're calling this the front. You got to, there'll be a gap right here um, on the front of the connector. Um, and you got to slip this flat blade in there and then pull down to open the gap, and that will cause this little plastic guy to go down and release from the Speedo. Um, so again, there are two types, and it's really hard to get this thing off uh, when you're working blind in there and you don't know what you're do working with. <clears throat> so again, if, you got, if you're taking out your cluster, uh, for this guy, you're looking for to you know, reach in there with some clamper type of things and hoping to reach around and maybe feel around and clamp this so you clamp it and then you can now pull the cluster off. Because what's going to happen is you're going to remove all your wires here fairly easily then you're not going to be able to remove your cluster because it's fucking stuck in there. Um, so you got to deal with that. <clears throat> Other little things, uh, first thing about the adjustment of the tachometer, you do have to install a 10k ohm resistor um, to prevent the tachometer from bouncing around, otherwise it will bounce and be unreadable. Um, so that's what the resistor is for, I'll show you that in a second. Um, you also will, might have to adjust your tachometer to get it to read correctly. I don't know if you can see, let me mark video. I don't know if you can see in there, you might be able to, there it was, see that little blue guy near the five and a half thousand mark? That is the adjuster guy for your taco. And uh, you want to adjust that. Uh, it's got a very small Phillips head screwdriver in there. So you remove your tack by removing uh, the bolts, which is one, two, three. 
remove those three bolts, your tack comes out, and then you can get in there and with a tiny, tiny screwdriver, like an eyeglasses screwdriver, you can adjust that uh, that blue guy, um, the little, the little white or a yellow screw in the middle of that blue guy in there on your tack, and uh, that will adjust. Small adjustments at a time, like an eighth of a turn. Mine ended up needing a quarter turn counterclockwise. Um, and we're going from what I assume is a V6 here to a four cylinder uh, 2.7. Uh, as far as the speedo, you can also mar sorry, you can modify the numbers in the gauge cluster. You got to remove the speedo again. Remove three bolts from the back. There's a little bar that goes across the back of this odometer here, and you can cut. The bar is just held in almost by pressure, but it's kind of clamped in a little. You remove, you just loosen the clamp slightly, and you can tack the bar out to the left or to the right. With the bar out, you can then slip a screwdriver in the back of this odometer numbers, and slip a screwdriver in between them the two numbers you want to modify and then use another screwdriver to carefully rotate the desired wheel to the desired number and then of course put your bar back and tighten it back on there I think we're done up here as far as what to know <clears throat> might want to install I bought an SR5 clock because um, this stock here the stock harness for the clock might as well add a clock while you're in here good stuff um, all right so let's go through the front real quick Oh god, we're already at six and a half minutes. Let's try to make this quick, but there's just a lot of information. So, over here is where you tack in, a, again, 2.7 liter motor. Um, we're behind the airbox here, and it's the second wire up. It's the all-black wire. It's hard to see, probably. Let me mark video again. Here we are. Uh, it's getting dark. But anyway, it's, it's not first wire here, but second wire up. It's a very thin black wire. It's all black. I think it has a silver mark every like six inches or four inches. Um, so what I did was, uh, this is the resistor right here. So I just connected one end of the resistor to that exposed. Now I cut back a little bit of wire, uh, the sheathing, and exposed the wire <clears throat> on that second wire, the black one. And I wrapped around the resistor to it, and then boom, other end of the resistor, I just put this this wire, which runs all the way to the taco. And again, that uh, <clears throat> that 10k ohm resistor prevents the taco, stops the taco from jumping around like crazy, which it will do uh, if you uh, don't install the resistor. <clears throat> yeah, that's uh. That's the deal, folks. Can't think of anything else that, that was, you know, was necessary in the mod list for this puppy, but I'm quite sure that should do it. Yeah, kind of looking over, double checking. We covered that, we covered that, we covered that. I think we're good, folks. Yeah, so, uh, alright, enjoy, and uh, keep these trucks alive, huh? You know, doing some cool mods.